Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 4. So this time we have Pixel OS based on Android 14. And I personally don't really like Pixel OS or Pixel Experience ROM because they don't really come with any kind of customization. Even the basic features also not available. By the way, let's see what we are getting with this ROM. So as you can see here, it is based on Android 14. And the security patch level is 1st of November 2023. This is an unofficial ROM for this device but kind of working well so as i said the rom does not come with any kind of features so the ui is pretty much stockish you are not getting any extra feature here the notification panel is also pretty much similar nothing new here in terms of network wi-fi bluetooth hotspot bo LTE, and bo wi-fi everything is working fine i haven't faced any issue notification as you can see here pretty much similar to all other rom nothing new here Battery, the battery is doing pretty well. I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that. It's a solid ROM for battery backup. Storage, as you can see, almost 15 GB available after installing few games and everything. Sound and vibration, working well. I haven't faced any issue. Everything is working here. And we do get direct sound options. So you can turn it on if you listen to music and you can choose headphone types and also choose the preset. So these things are available and also audio amplification is available. So if you want that, you can change up to your liking. But no power F volume control, as you can see here, that feature is not available. Display section, we do get adaptive brightness working well. I haven't faced any issue. Tap to walk is available, but double tap to sleep is not available. So if I double tap here, as you can see, it is not working. But we can work the display by double tapping. So that is available. That's all what we are getting here. Wallpaper and style. We do get few options, pretty much similar to all other ROMs. In the more wallpaper section, we do get AI wallpaper and emoji workshop. Both of them work well. I did try them, so they are working. In the more log screen option, so we do get few other options here, as you can see, but no AOD option here. So AOD is not available on this ROM. In the accessibility section, we are getting all the typical options here. But one thing you can do with this ROM, as this device is pretty old and Android 14 is not really optimized well for this device. And the animations, although good, but I think better to disable all the animations. So you can do that from here, color and motion. You will get remove animation. The animation will be faster here. So as you can see here, quite fast. And the device feels faster now. So disable the animation if you are using this ROM. In the security and privacy option, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock. So fingerprint unlock is working well. I haven't faced any issue. As you can see here, pretty fast and accurate. Although face unlock is a little bit slower side. If you want that, you can use that too. Location is working well. I haven't faced any issue. And in the system setting, we are getting all the typical options. Although we do get gesture option here. So as you can see here, gesture navigation is available. But you can only use for home and to check your multitasking apps. So you can't use back option here. So the gesture control is not properly working here, but the soft buttons are working. So as you can see here, we can use soft buttons. Unfortunately, the lights of the soft buttons are not working. So these are the few issues here. That's all what we are getting in the setting panel. Nothing new or no feature at all. So in terms of application, this is an GS build so we do get few google application here in terms of customization we do get application called advanced controls so as you can see here you can do few tweaks here like you can turn off yellow light of your torch or white light you can calibrate it and also you can calibrate your display up to your liking so that's all what you are getting in terms of customization in terms of camera we are getting google camera go which is working well but if I switch to video mode, as you can see, it is stuck now. So the video mode is not working for some reason. I did try with few other Gcam on this ROM. Video is not working for some reason. So there is issue related to camera. In terms of Google Photos, we do have unlimited storage. So as you can see, are unlimited. But unfortunately, the Magic Editor is not working. I did try that and it crashed always. So if I try now,
So crest there. So that is not a Bible. One thing which is kind of disappointing is that we are not getting any kind of safety net feature. So in that case, you can't really use any kind of bank application here. So as you can see here, the device is not certified. That means you can't use bank application. Even few applications which required safety net feature, you will not be able to use them. But uh, the Play Store is working well, no issue. And in terms of WhatsApp, I did try WhatsApp phone call with video calls and everything working well. In terms of phone call, Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi working as you can see here, HD. And call recording is also working. So call recording is working. Kind of good ROM actually. In terms of gaming, this is not really a gaming phone anymore. But I did try Call of Duty here. So the performance was as expected from this device. Pretty good, I would say, for a device from 2017. This is not really a phone for gaming anymore. So overall, the ROM is working well. But as I said, many things are not working. And I did try FM Radio too. FM Radio is also not working here. Pretty weird actually, but not working. Overall, the ROM is usable. If you want to install this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. By the way, if you flush this ROM, you have to use their own recovery. Otherwise, you will not be able to flush the ROM. So I will put the ROM link and the recovery link in the description below if you want to try this ROM. So that's all about it. I think it's better to use something else. This is not really a good ROM for this device. There are better ROMs available. But still, if anyone wants to try, the ROM link is available in the description. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.